Alright, so here we have our supplies. It's super simple and I'm going to show you all how to do it. Hi guys, hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome to my video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to fry GSP, which is Green Star Polyp. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you all how to frag that. It's super easy, super simple, anyone can do it. All you need is a frag plug small or a small piece of rock, either one. Um, super glue and the coral and nice scissors. Yeah, you don't want dirty scissors. Um, but yeah, that's all you need. It's super simple and I'm going to show you all how to do it. Alright, so here we have our supplies. You want some scissors? I made sure to rinse these off first. Um, just some tap water. It's fine. Um, it, very little amount even stays on there, so it's, it's not really a big deal. Um, we have our frag plug. I just pulled that out of the tank. It still has like leftover glue on it from the last thing I tried and it didn't work, but you know, it's okay. It happens sometimes. And then we have our super glue. Um, most super glues work. Just make sure to research it a little bit. I know this one is fine. It's safe. Um, and there's some other type of like coral glues that I know work better. So, that's just my way of doing it. I don't like to spend an outrageous amount of money on something if it works the same for less. So, let's get to it. Alright, right here is the coral that we want to frag. So, hopefully the audio is not too bad for me holding it like this. I need to still figure out where the microphones on this camera are. And I need to get a tripod for it so I can hold it better without messing up the audio. But... We just want to take, find this spot. That spot right there looks good because it's hanging off. And you just want to cut it. And yeah. <laughs> make nice clean cuts. Don't make, don't hack it up. Don't chop it up like a chef from Benihana. Do not cut them up like a chef from Benihana. <laughs> um, yeah, nice clean cuts uh, with really any type of coral you want to do. You don't want to like just keep like going crazy, you know? Yeah, it's just common sense, guys. Uh, most people like to use gloves and stuff with this. I am, um, I don't, because this this really isn't gonna hurt you. Now, other stuff like the zoanthids up here, those might. So you might want to be careful with that. But other than that, just yeah. Make sure you have nothing on your hands. No leftover soap, no residue. If your hands smell like soap, keep rinsing them. Um, Make sure you weren't dealing with any chemicals because these small tanks right here are affected by every single thing left over on your hands. So be very careful with that. Give your hands a nice rinse underwater. Don't use soap. And yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Super easy, super good process. Um, I'm going to take a cut from there. I'll try to see what I can get on video. Um, and yeah. All right, we got our little piece. What I did not show y'all is me irritating the coral. Yeah, that's... That's a really good thing to do. This sounds like so contradictory, but um, trust me, let me show you. It was all nice and fluffy, but the piece you want to take, you really want to roll up so all the polyps go back inside the coral. It just helps that you're not damaging like other pieces of the coral. And it makes it easier for that piece of coral to survive and do better, the one that you just chopped off. So that's what I did. It sounds bad to like irritate it, but you're really just helping out the rest of the coral. Alrighty, so now we're gonna take this. And one thing I learned is that a little goes a long way. That is one big thing I learned last time when doing this. So you only want the tiniest bit of super glue on here. Really small amount, and then you take your little piece of coral, set it in the glue, make sure you're gluing down the side that's purple underneath and not the side that has the polyps on it. And you just want to make sure you get it on there, it's in the glue. Oh, 
let that set. Also a good way to kind of cure the glue is by sticking it in your tank water. So we have, I think it's done. And kind of just dip it in here. Just letting it cure, get all like tacked down. And then we're gonna touch it a little bit to see if it's kind of wobbly or what's going on. Um, these corals can survive a long time without water, so don't be too worried that you're keeping it out of the water. You're not harming it. It's fine. Um, but you guys do have to remember, corals are animals. They really are. And every single one of these little polyps is an individual animal. And this piece right here is considered a colony, which most people wouldn't consider a colony until it gets this big. But it's technically still a colony. So that's pretty dope. A colony of a bunch of little animals. So I think it's mainly cured. I think we did a good job on this. So you just want to keep this in a good place. I found that mine like high flow and low lighting. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, keep on reefing guys. Um, that was about it. A nice short video kind of showing y'all how to do something like this. Something anyone can do. So yeah. Alright guys, I decided to put my little frag into this tank. You can see it right there. Um, I'm just going to see how it goes. If it doesn't do well, I'm just going to move it back. Um, I'm just trying to get better different corals in here, trying to figure out what corals work in here. Because zoanthids are not doing well, frog spuns are doing well. So, we'll see if this does well. If not, I'm just going to move it back. No big deal. Um, I do intend on selling this, so it's not going to stay in here. Just one thing you have to be careful with GSB. Um, it takes over. It really does. Uh, I've said this, well, I think I have this video on private actually, but it takes over real fast. That's why this one is on his rock and bleh. this one is on a rock on its own in the middle of the sand, so it cannot, well, I'm going to have to move that back a little bit. So it cannot creep onto other rocks. As you can see, it's taken over this entire rock. And it's done some damage to this rock right here. That's why I don't want it everywhere else. I don't want another pulsing zenia situation. Which, I'll be doing another video on that. I'm going to be fracking up that thing like crazy. I'm so done with it. It is, It's taking over this whole side of the tank. I like it in small, small amounts. So, that will be gone soon. All these little cult pieces will be gone. So, yeah. And frog spawn will also be fragged down. So, hopefully, I can figure out how to do that. The frog spawn's going to be a lot trickier. Because it is an LPS coral, which means it has a skeleton that I have to cut through. Whereas this is just a soft coral. I could just snip it like that. Uh, but, yeah. That's it guys, pretty simple, and I hope you enjoyed this, hope you can do this on your own. That's all guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Um, I usually post weekly, try to post more, but it's kind of hard living in Dallas, and there's not that much to do here, but um, other than that, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and stick around for more. I will see y'all in the next video.